Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your February 2018 general reading. This uh, message will not resonate with all Virgos. If it does resonate with you, like, share, comment. Thank you to those who have liked, shared, commented to the video post. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, it's all appreciated. Thank you. Uh, so we'll save the announcements for the end. Let's go ahead and get started. I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. Let's get started. All right. Thank you for the messages for Virgo. True messages for Virgo. All right. And I'm using the Druid Craft uh, Tarot Deck. Whoa, that one flipped out. Okay. The Sun and the Foundation. The Ace of Pentacles. Nice. King of Wands. King of Pentacles, Ooh, nice, Virgo. Recent past the chariot. Right. Two came. Oh, nice. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Definitely dealing with a Leo. We've got the King of Wands, the Sun, the Strength card. All right, and your power, Purse of Cups. Woo. This is a good reading. Let me, okay. External to use the Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Hopes and Fears. The two came out for the outcome. Nine of Pentacles, Prince of Wands. Okay, so I just, and at the bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. So some of you could be on break from someone or took a rest, a break period from something or someone. Okay, so I just heard with the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Wands, yes, this could be a person, but for some of you, this is business or a new job, something to do with money or business. All right, so in your foundation, we have the sun and the ace of pentacles. Positivity, clarity, illumination, uh, a new foundational start. Could be engagement, uh, new business, new car, new home, big purchase. Uh, something foundational, something you can build on. Um, that This is really good energy, wow. Uh, the reason for all of this is the king of wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm really feeling like for some of you, it's going to be a person. For some of you, this is you like getting into entrepreneurial mode, like organizing the people around you, uh, being the mover and the shaker, uh, just making things happen. This is the entrepreneur of the day. And then we have a new foundational start here. Uh, and then we have you. In the present energy, King of Pentacles sitting on your throne looks good. King of Pentacles makes solid decisions, solid business decisions, solid life decisions. The King of Pentacles makes decisions after evaluating the situation on different perspectives, tries to make the best decision for everyone involved. In the recent past was the chariot. You could have been dealing with the cancer. If not, you just chose to put yourself first, to move forward effortlessly and in victory. This is a victory card. The chariot only holds one. So you didn't take anybody with you. You know, the chariot holds one. This is not a stagecoach. This is a chariot. So you got in control of the emotions. You got in control of the thoughts. You got in control of the good and the bad nice recent past near future is even better the wheel of fortune this is destined to happen whatever this is is destined to happen the wheel is turning in your favor now uh 
the spotlight is on you. Have strength in dealing with the situations. For like I said, some of you could be dealing with a Leo directly, uh, or if not, you just need to muster up that strength to get through this new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles here. Nice. And then in your power, the Prince of Cups, uh, this is an emotional offer. This is a, the offer. You see his hand extended with his cup. This could be male or female. This is your power. You could be extending yourself emotionally uh, to a job, to a new person, to this new foundational start. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And, but what's external to you is the Ten of Swords. Some backstab. Some backstabbing, some betrayal, being backed into a corner. This is external to you. And I'm going to pull a card on that. Uh, and then the Five of Pentacles is in your hopes and fears. Of course, this will be a fear. Fear um, of, of lack. Fear of having to cut someone out fear of wow being cut out um or this could be a hope to actually cut someone out let's see what this is about we'll see what the ten of swords is about first and then in your outcome we have the nine of pentacles and the uh knight of the prince of wands or the Knight of Wands. Uh, so you're moving fast. When someone's moving, you might be moving fast. Someone might be moving quick towards you. We got the King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. You're single. I just heard ready to mingle. Ugh, I hate when people say that. Anyway, uh, you're single. You're okay with being single. This is you're in a good place. You you oh you're open and welcome to partnership to relationship, but you are no significant hurry because you have a lot to offer. You want to evaluate every situation, every de decision on uh not on this basis. This person comes in, comes out. I don't know. It could be shifty energy there. Uh, it looks like. They're not even coming toward you. This could be energy of, of you moving fast on something. But I feel like it's another person. Let's see what this is about. The Ten of Swords. Two came out. The Magician and the Queen of Pentacles. So you could have been in a marriage. Maybe with the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus like yourself. Vir uh, the Magician. Uh, this person could have been manipulative or they manipulated you or you manipulated them in some fashion seven of pentacles you were waiting for things to turn around or you're waiting for this person hmm we do have the nine of pentacles in the outcome the woman in waiting five of pentacles eight of sword uh, fear of having to cut someone out or being left out in the cold but at the same time, mentally trapped, stuck. The thoughts go right back to whatever situation. Prince of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. The Princess of Cups. Messages of love to the Lord. That's an Aries. Then the Death card. Endings and New Beginnings. Right. Okay. Now I get it. I get it. Okay. So yeah, like I said, this person in and out, they know you have a lot to offer. They might be giving you messages of love. Could be an Aries or, or a Taurus. Got the Queen of Pentacles down here, but there's an ending here because you're the Nine of Pentacles. You're not even moving. Could be a Queen of Swords too. You, or you could be taking on the energy of the Queen of Swords and just like the Queen of Swords cut all BS out. Like, you know it's BS. Five of Cups. Yeah, you're just change and you're just grieving it. Four of Wands, you're grieving this relationship. Nine of Cups, because you wished for something else or you wish that this would end anyhow. Nine of Wands, yeah, you're very defensive. Seven of Cups. Uh, 
now you you got the clarity you got the clarity on this person so you're just moving forward in victory in victory effortlessly without this person let's pull a butterfly oracle card thank you thank you thank you for the messages oh, and there we are join in nice join in talks about joining groups of people like-minded people like yourself who uh have uh, a significant and foundational interest in whatever you're interested in. This is a good way of meeting new people. This is a good way of um, networking. Because it looks like you're trying to get something started, but somebody's like right there in the middle of what you've got going on. Uh, so join in. And this is not online. This is not virtually joining in anything. This is joining in um, in person meeting people the old fashioned way so that's nice uh, you got this fire sign who's just like conflicting energy like like you're just like kind of like okay I already know what you're about you know the passion is here one second then the next second you're out or you I just want it to end. You've got clarity about it. And you're um, defensive about it, too. You're standing your ground. You've been through a lot with that person. Okay, so Virgo, that is your reading. Uh, foundationally, mon monetarily, it looks really, really good. Uh, love, uh, mm, I don't know. It looks like you let you've let someone go. Or you're, you're in the act of letting something go. But this person just keeps trying. And it's like, ah, uh, I don't want it. You know? So anyhow, if this resonated with you, please get in the comments. Let me know what's going on with you. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to do uh, a Valentine's Day reading for all the signs. Um, what else? So follow me on Insta Go. Uh, my handle and the, the link for that is below. You can ask me a question. I'll pull a few cards, get back to you on, on your situation uh, within 24 hours. Uh, follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Uh, get a snapshot of my life, and it's very boring. But anyhow, um, a snapshot of my life, what I'm up to. Uh, how things are going, uh, the tarot page, and then my personal page. Choose to fund the page. Uh, click the GoFundMe link. Give a dollar, whatever. All money goes back into the channel. Take advantage of the $25, 25-minute readings. What else is there? I think that's pretty much it. Thank you to everyone who shows love by way of subscribing, commenting, all of that. Uh, Virgos, have a really good month. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you soon, okay? Remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well, all right? Take care.